Hi, my name is Boris and in this video I'm going to show you the top 5 of absolutely free lo-fi processing plugins for both Windows and Mac. The list includes plugins from big names like Isotope or Celum Audio, as well as less known developers. And they are really great to use in all kinds of genres and they allow you to add in saturation, vibrato style effects, so wow and flutter, to add noise and much much more. But before we get into the video, if you like what we are doing on this channel, make sure to subscribe. We've got a lot more content with free downloads coming up. And to download these plugins, you can just head over to the link in the description, which will take you to our blog where we have the full list with download links. Alright, so let's just get started. So this is going to be a bit of a quick video. I'm not going to dive too deep into each of these plugins. I just want to show you on some examples how they sound and what the main features are here. Okay, so plugin number one is Isotope Vinyl, one of the most popular lo-fi type effects that are absolutely free. As the name suggests, this simulates a vinyl record. It's quite simple to use. Here you have a panel where you can choose the year of the vinyl emulation and the lower you go, the more of a high cut and the more distortion you have. There are also different kinds of noise that you can apply here. This would be mechanical noise and some electrical hum. And uh, here you have a wear control, which is really great. And uh, let's just try to play a clip from a synth. This is the clip without the effect. And now let's add it in. As you can hear, we have some saturation going on because of this wear control. If, you, if we dial this back, there's not going to be as much distortion here. There's also this warp control, which adds slow fluctuations of pitch, simulates a very old vinyl record. We have some other features like dust and scratch, but this gets much more low quality here. And we can disable these features. Let's check what it sounds like when you dial back this year control. Let's just hear what this sounds like with a piano. the guitar. And some drums. Here are the drums dry. And let's enable it. So you can definitely hear both low and high frequencies limited here and a bit of saturation. Yeah, and this plugin sounds really good, but it doesn't have as many features as some of the other plugins. So let's go to plugin number two. So plugin number two is tape cassette. So here we have a cassette emulation. The controls are quite similar here, but we have a very different sound. So let's give that a quick listen. very warm sound as well. The wow and flutter effect are really great sounding here and you also can introduce noise of course as well as uh, dial in saturation and add a low pass curve. Here you have an impulse response switch which adds even more realism to the cassette emulation. Let's hear that on a guitar and let's play it dry quickly for context. This plugin just sounds really, really great. Adds a lot of vintage vibe here. Let's hear what that sounds like with a drums loop. First, let's hear the loop dry once again. And I'm enabling the effect. So the impulse response reduces a bit the high frequencies here, so you can turn it off as well. 
Really awesome plugin with oversampling features as well, as well as some nice presets. So let's proceed on to plugin number three. Next up is Chow Tape Model, which is a physical model of an analog tape machine. It's based on a specific model from Sony, TC260, but the current version is really versatile and can emulate a lot of different tape machines. You have a lot of nice presets here, but mostly a lot of control over the sound with a lot of tabs in here and really detailed controls. Let's hear what it sounds like. We can even crank the input gain here a bit in order to hear the saturation. You can turn the bias knob here in the tape tab to achieve different types of distortion, adjust the amount of saturation and the drive. And here you have some very specific detail controls that adjust the way the physical model behaves. There's a quite extensive manual here which explain exactly how all these features work. But this last section is quite simple actually. We have flutter and wow, so pitch fluctuation effects. Yeah, basically we can add a bit of vibrato here. So this is like faster pitch fluctuations and here we have slower. And you can achieve a realistic effect by combining both of these, just like you would in the most popular plugin, the RC20 Retro Color. Okay, so let's hear this plugin on different kinds of instruments, piano, guitar and drums. Here you can also remove the filtering to get more of the drums through this plugin. Yeah, but the plugin sounds really, really great. Let's proceed on to plugin number four. And actually here we have two plugins from the same developer. First one is called Lost Tapes. Second one is called Lost Vinyls. And as the name suggests, these emulate these different devices. And these are probably not the most realistic models, but they are definitely fun to use on all kinds of instruments and drum tracks. One flaw I noticed about these plugins is that they sometimes introduce a bit of stereo widening. So if you would like to keep your sounds mono, bear that in mind, or just drop a utility after these effects, choose the left or the right channel or sum it up to mono. These plugins could also appear to sound a bit better because of the stereo widening that is sometimes going on here. Uh, so bear that in mind as well. In my experience, the stereo imaging here turns on and off a bit randomly here. So I just tend to keep a utility after them. Yeah, so let's just hear what the first plugin sounds like and then let's proceed on to Lost Vinyl. So here's Lost Tapes with the synth clip that we have. Okay, and let's hear Lost Vinyls. In both of these plugins, we can choose between four different algorithms here. Yeah, so basically from new all the way down to broken. Okay, so these are lost tapes and vinyls from Superfly DSP. And let's take a look at the last thing that we have. And this is going to be our own lo-fi rack for Ableton Live, which you can download for free in the video description. And basically I designed this rack to give you the most handy features, wow and flutter, so pitch fluctuation effects, drive, a bit of filtering and erosion to add a bit of noise and just a bit of reverb to give it some space if you would like to. And to me, this rack is really useful. Sometimes I do not need a 
special VST. As you can see, it includes only Ableton native plugins. So Chorus Ensemble is doing the wow and flutter effects. We have two erosion effects adding hiss and we have an auto filter and the reverb effect from Ableton. So let's hear what that sounds like. You can also increase the uh, wow and flutter for example. Or we can increase the erosion or filter the sound down. And let's hear it on a piano. And the guitar. And it surprisingly sounds really great on drums as well. So this probably would be the easiest way of adding lo-fi effects. Just download the lo-fi rack from our website and you're free to go with Ableton only effects. But if not, you have still four or even five different options with third-party plugins. I hope you will find this list useful. Give them a shot, everyone can grab these. It doesn't matter whether you have a Windows machine or a Mac. If you'd like to learn more, make sure to check out our Music Production Academy with start to finish courses on making tracks in various genres, as well as the Ableton Beginners course, which gives you all the knowledge you need to get started with music production. Make sure to subscribe to our channel, click the notification bell. If you enjoyed this video, leave us a like, write us a comment, and I will see you in the next videos. Hi, this video is sponsored by us. If you like these tutorials and want to support the channel, check out our website packed with online courses and professional sound packs. If you want to cut years of your learning curve, check the PML Beginner to Advanced Music Production program for Ableton Live. You will know Ableton inside out and learn how to write, produce, mix and master complete tracks. You learn step by step at your own speed from an empty file to professional production as if we're sitting side by side in the studio. Thank you for listening.